gym looks. What is Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> Start with the most important place on the, in the entire cabin. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another day from the beautiful high seas. In this video, I'm going to show you all my cabin and what all we have for entertainment on the ship, and what all we do also for entertainment on the ship because this is going to be an interesting day. It is a Sunday, and I thought, why not vlog it down? Because something special is happening. We'll go there soon. Right now, I'm on the bridge. It is 12.20. No traffic. We are in the middle of Indian Ocean. Let me zoom out. The Ectus is a bit slow. So you'll see uh, nothing around. And 12.40. The captain is going to come and relieve me. And we're going to take this particular thing. Which is a self-made cricket stump. Uh, okay, we'll have to figure that out. I need both hands and then start playing cricket. So the plan is that on bay 18, we've got this empty hatch cover and one more rope which is empty. So this is a good spot to play cricket. Of course, we'll put all our safety gears, helmet, safety shoes because safety first and then we'll start playing cricket. Okay, captain has relieved me and Harshad is carrying the wickets. And we are going to now proceed to Bay 18, huh? Bay 18. Bay 18 and start our tournament. Raji bhai, ready? Ready. Ready to play? And we are ready. We are ready and we are also prepare popcorn, huh? Yes, popcorns popcorn. with cold drink, with water. <laughs> we are ready for playing. Hey, Desmond, ready, huh? <laughs> okay, guys. So, we are also going to wear safety shoes because that is the requirement. See, the guys have already worn. I will wear my safety shoes. Now, let's proceed to Bay 18. Guys, before I take you to Bay 18, give me 60 seconds of your time and let me introduce you all to the sponsor of this video, which is Surfshark VPN. As a sailor, we go to so many ports and buy foreign SIM cards to download movies, music, videos for long ocean passages like these and this puts our personal data in great risk. And that problem is solved by using the Surfshark VPN. So let's head down and see how it is used. It is quite simple to be very honest. So I'm going to grab hold of my mobile phone and show in real time how I use this application. So this is the Surfshark app. Once you open it, it's a nice sleek uh, interface and you can see right now I'm unprotected. So connect to stay safe. I've been using India as my location because one cool thing is that if you use this and open Netflix, you can see the latest web series which have been launched in India. Of course, when you are at port, when you have good internet. So cool thing. Anyway, so let's get back to the application. Now you see, you just have to press quick connect and it will connect you to the fastest server available. And boom, we are now Surfshark VPN protected. As you see, our online activity is encrypted. And one more cool feature this application has is once we go to VPN setting, we've got something known as clean web, which blocks ads, trackers and malware when VPN is connected. So this guys, believe me, is so important and crucial for protecting us from cyber criminals and hackers to getting access to our debit cards, internet banking and all of that. So ladies and gentlemen, the next time you use internet for browsing, downloading anything from a foreign SIM card, do not forget to use the Surfshark VPN because you don't want all your hard-earned money into the hands of the hackers because they are always on a lookout. 
In any case, you can get 83% off and three months extra if you use my code Karanveer and download the application via the links in the description. So don't forget to check it out. And now let's head to Bay 18. Absolute beautiful day to play cricket, man. I mean, okay, there is little bit rolling. As you see, the waves are little high. But the place is small, so it will not roll that much. And it's not like proper cricket cricket. So there is Bay 18. I'm gonna go up. Guys, I'm sure I'm already present there. Yeah. Guys are there. <laughs> you see, there, there is something starting. You get first toss. Harshit, Harshit, what is the plan? What is the plan? How many games per team? Uh, per team, three games. Three games. And uh, yeah, uh, every match is five overs match. Five overs. Yeah, and one baller can uh, ball maximum of two overs. Only one baller. One baller, two. And total overs in one game? Five. Five overs. Five overs, yeah. Bhai, what's the final score for teams? Yeah, uh, team 1 is 42 and hmm. team 2 is 18. Team 2 is which team? 18. Yeah, your team. <laughs> That's the captain of team number 1. Guys, this is our second match. That's our captain with the other captain. And if we lose this, we are out of the tournament. Jitadi, why Jitadi? Day 1. This game we played today as a team made me realize a few very important things. One is that there has to be a sense of brotherhood among the, you know, handful of crew we have like 20, 25 people. So in case there's an emergency, we know the characteristics of a person like in sports, especially like today, we get to know who plays better under pressure, who does not perform under pressure. And in the work, we can use it at the same, you know, in, in the same, in the same way. So yeah, and also it's very important to break the monotony of this uh, life at sea because it's just work all the time. You need something different and this is how we can improvise, make the best of the small things, whatever we have and it is sufficient. So yeah, one more important learning that there is only little things in life we need to be happy and not surplus. This is the biggest lesson of life at sea. So guys, this is our barbecue area and you can see a lot of paintings been, been made by previous people over here. Really beautiful artwork. As you can see, Cristiano Ronaldo. I thought that was Bruce Lee. I don't know these characters, but really, really nice. And we've got three benches over here where we do the barbecue. That is Marlin Munro. Oh wow. Let's have a look at this particular artist. He's my favorite rapper. You can comment and let me know who he is. Anyway, these are the two barbecue stations we have over here. We cook our meals sometimes every uh, alternate Saturdays. Lighthouse. On top over there, we have the bridge. And uh, this is the echo deck. That is E deck. This is where I stay also. Just here. I will just show you. Just uh, here on this particular side. Yeah. From this barbecue area, we move on to the swimming pool deck. Let's go there. 
There we have it, guys. A beautiful swimming pool. How about that? Some really, really, really nice artwork. This is, I mean, this is very beautiful. That's the place where people sometimes dance, you know, using speakers. I'll show you, we've got good speaker systems over here. And the swimming pool is really cute, man. I mean, have a look at those small paintings. This Nemo, shark, small jellyfishes. Whoever did this, if you're watching, I don't know if you'll watch ever, but great job, man. Great job. Hats off. So guys, uh, after that good cricket game, you can see like, guys, now Desmond is relaxing in this salt water from the Indian Ocean, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, from the swimming pool, let's enter the officer's day room. Which is over here. And there we enter here. We spend a lot of time on this particular area of the ship. We have a carom board, some cards to play. So in the evening time, after everybody's free, like around 1800, when we finish the dinner, we come over here, gather here, put on the music on this particular system, great system, and play carom, or else use this particular thing, which is a massager, guys. Now, this is the first time on the ship, uh, they've got a massager. One hour on this particular massager, it's like only one minute because your body is in a state of rest. You've got many options here, as you see. It's all in uh, Chinese, so we don't understand much. Therefore, we have put some P-touch, like upper body stretch, exercise, recovery, fitness, etc. So, this is something crazy. And I love spending time here. Because it's good for, you know, the joints and the muscles. And these days I'm doing the gym, going to the gym, so... Helpful. And... Rest over here, good couch, you've got two guitars, a foosball table, and the best part is the PlayStation 4. So we've got one, two, uh, oh, we've got PlayStation 3 as well, and V. I I didn't know about this, some books. So those of you who are following me since a long time know that in the Monkebo Musk and Emma Musk, we had slob chest and library separate. So this is a smaller ship, so everything is integrated here. We don't have any slop chest or any library. This itself is our library and all the recreation we have here. And uh, some games, Battlefield 4, Mortal Kombat, FIFA 17. Okay, because it's PS3, but we should have the latest games. Huh? Cricket 22, Call of Duty. I love this series. The Call of Duty is my favorite. Favorite gaming series ever. No other game has ever. No, uh, GTA also. GTA, I like GTA. But uh, Call of Duty is my number one. And my favorite character was Ghost, if you've played the game. And this is more or less what we have in the officer day room. We'll now proceed to the crew day room. But on this ship, we don't uh, have this bias that crew will go to other room or uh, officer. We all stay together. So we don't use that much. Okay, I'm gonna go out from the E deck and then this was the officer day room. B deck has crew day room. So let's first enter the crew day room. Are? Hey guys! <laughs> In the crew day room, we've got this snooker table, pool table, and I'm pretty sure. Nobody will be able to play poker or snooker in this pool and snooker on this ship because if you see outside, the ship is always moving, rolling, pitching. You've got a dart table here, paintings and a chess table. Yeah, we can play chess here, but I have not seen anyone play chess on this ship. And inside here also we've got a Nintendo V set. As you see, and the set is here. But let's head down to the gymnasium. Okay, lights on. And for motivation, we've put many posters over here. So uh, forget about that. We've got good equipment here. Not a very big gym. Bench press, normal treadmill, 
then uh, rowing machine this is my favorite part the parallel dip station so i like to do calisthenics these days that is like just pull ups push ups and parallel dip so it uh, is safe because this ship is small so it keeps rolling hence i prefer not overworking my joints you know otherwise this machine over here is pretty handy it's a uh, it's got like for the lat pull down machine chest bench press and uh, yeah some other kind of uh, equipments that can that can be connected here and you can yeah we can read this body solid exercise chart to use this machine properly but anyway that's that's what we have here and on this ship you've got a crazy boxing punching bag so there are many boxes here which come on board so uh, i try to i tried learning but it's not so easy and it requires a lot of energy and as a second mate energy is not much to be very honest so gym is enough and yeah dumbbells maximum 20 kilos and kettlebells this is the first time i'm seeing kettlebells on a ship very good exercises from this and yeah some weight lifting again some punching bag and a cycle uh, not cycle elliptical otherwise guys this is a ping pong table and this is how the entire gym looks nice and cozy not much it's not like the big ship i was on this uh, tripoli and the mr class which had really big gyms but here we've got better equipments i can tell you so that's how the gym looks all right so that's more or less what we have on the ship for entertainment uh it's like we don't get much time also to be very honest as a cadet only you can get time only if the chief officer is good but for officers engineers it's tough to take out time i'm now going to go to the cabin and give you all a quick glimpse of how that is and then i think that's that's more or less what we have here on the ship All right so welcome to my den the den of KSN well, that's rhyming so i'll give you a quick tour of what all we have here i'm going to start with the most important place on the in the entire cabin which is my editing table and this is where i do all my work all these videos which you see on youtube perhaps even this video is been created from sitting over here working multiple hours this particular tv is not used only my uh, laptop that's the gopro i have here and the radio system this speaker is a very old classic speaker and it has got a cassette wait wait one second so i'm sure i cannot anyway this is like a cassette and a cd player and i'm sure in the age of modern technology and 2022 nobody produces any cd and cassettes okay that's how it looks this is the telephone which i hate because once this rings it produces a sound which i'm sure most of the seafarers hate because it's always like work call there is no fun call <laughs> so yeah i don't like this telephone if i if i want no okay i'll stop now moving on from the telephone part <laughs> That's the bed. It's a queen size bed. Unlike the previous bed I have got on the previous ships, they were small one size. This is a big one. So I am pretty happy. And yeah, emergency lights. Got a nice cozy fridge over here where we can put our soft drinks or uh, fruits, whatever you like. Nothing here anyway. I have not put anything. And this is my cupboard. some jackets suitcase small drawers for undergarments and there is my other suitcase small shelf over here bhagavad gita very important and uh, yeah i'm using these supplements these days sacretin and uh, whey protein so this i bought in uh, south africa durban i'm sure if you if, if you have been following me you have seen the durban video if not you can check it out so i bought it from there so this is an alarm extension panel so whatever alarms which are relevant for us will uh, buzz over here this is known as the aquanis system 
for engine room it's uh, for engineers it's the same thing and there's a different setting which i'll give it to you all in the navigation bridge tour and then we've got some boiler suits that that we can hang this is the laundry box my shoes and these are uh, something very cute this is for good fragrance fragrance so uh, they emit i it's called uh, i don't know what's it called i really don't know but it was here since the beginning it is smelling really nice and uh, that's the bathroom bathrooms are generally same on all the ships so yeah shower commode wash basin my toiletries and yeah uh on the previous ships the floors were heated but on the ship the flooring is not heated and this is more or less yeah i mean uh, what else this is a uh, scenery this is the aircon so inside the ship inside the cabin we've got aircons one for heating one for the cooling part and uh, the best part is this particular windows which are known as portholes in shipping language right now we've got container but sometimes like most of the times i can see what's happening on the horizon so anyway this is still beautiful man i mean have a look at the sky this is lovely so i keep it open some sunlight to kill the germs bacteria and of course take vitamin d which is very important anyway guys i hope you all like this video if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe and do comment in the relevant sections which i asked you for i will reply to each and every comment this uh, helps the algorithm of the video also i'll be very honest and it reaches out to more people but uh, this is what we do for entertainment recreation and team building which i love like i love to have this brotherhood sense of brotherhood or sisterhood or you know forget brotherhood it's just a term or if there are females then you know get that close bonding of a team because uh, we are just 20 25 people and uh, we have to protect each other watch our back so yeah that's the learning from this video yeah, guys so if you if you did like it you know what okay guys i'm going to stop talking see you all later in the next video till then take care and stay safe i'm going to show you something cool guys your guy kiran veer singh nayya has got the best bowling figure of 7 wickets today and our team played three matches 1 2 lost one but the final was yeah with team number 1 and we won that so we are the winners and yeah